Hey everybody, Dauntless here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales. Now, I am currently trying to figure out this here combination with this here piece of paper. And it's oh, a six-letter word. So, let me uh, do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's a word that apparently he really likes. What Panerge likes. And I, I, I've looked, and unfortunately, I can't find anything that can be made up with just these letters. Unless that this is a pattern, right? So that would mean that every six letters in the alphabet are represented by these six symbols. So actually, it would be... So after those... O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z is all represented by the simple six symbols dash plus dot O slash equals. If that's the case, then this becomes a lot more complex, and it means I've got to start finding a very specific word. Oh, and it's six letters. Drink is not five letters. Wow, there's people mowing the lawn outside all of a sudden. I'd like to say for the record that our land people have, I don't know what their problem is. They mow every single day, all day. They're just the weirdest. And they do it really strangely. They just kind of make, all, they just kind of drive it around in the grass and hope they eventually get everything. Anyway, okay, it's back to the puzzle. If it's going to be that complex, if that's the case, there's got to be a way to get the word. It's not going to be something where you got to figure out the word. It's going to be somebody's going to tell it to you. Because figuring out every word in the alphabet is going to, like... I already talked to him. They don't want to talk to me. And he's unconscious, so he doesn't have it. So the only person to talk to is this guy. Because the other guy just gets angry at me if I try to go near him. Uh, tell, tell me about me again him. about Panurge. Panurge is a beggar varmint and a sneaky trickster, but he's also multilingual, smart, and that full of it imagination. Easier. It's multilingual, Pantagruel so it could be a word in any language. Where he was sent to study <laughs> by his father Gargantua, Paris. they soon became friends for life. Together, they completed amazing quests, like fighting a sea monster. The journey was the search for the Oracle of the Holy Bottle. Panurd was in need of some important advice, if he should get married or not. The response of the oracle was, Trench! Trench. Which means, Trench. Drink! I suppose that's what they're doing now in that tavern. <coughs> Trench. Alright. If that's the case, R is equals. I I got that all written down over here on this. I got like six notes here for this puzzle. I is dot. T is plus. Uh, T R I N plus C is dot again, and H is plus again. That's six letters. It's been great. See? Alright. Let's figure this out. Okay, so it would be plus equals dot plus 
Oh, it's alright. I did that on purpose. Ah! Nice! And it's the key. Which I'm gonna guess is for this. Continue to sleep there, Mr. Panners. And he's passed out too. Yup. <laughs> he fit the whole thing in his pocket. So now that, that's what's going to be used to knock down the barrel or to hit the uh, weather vane. Wake up, innkeeper. Hey, wake up. Uh, wow, he's <laughs> wasted. <laughs> oh, mommy, let me sleep, please. Damn, he's totally wasted. <laughs> I'll have to figure out a better way to sober him up. No more wine! Uh, barrels. Barrels. I'm not going to move those barrels. Well, you never know. All right, let's go and get this uh, weather vane thing figured out. Ah. <sighs> right. All right, angry man. What the hell? What the hell? I'm s I am still dying every time I see that face and I'm like, I should know what that is. <sighs> I don't know why it's by eating at me so much. Okay. Now I guess I throw it, the rock, and it bounces off it and hits the bucket. And I'm gonna use a bucket full of water to never, never do that again. To uh, wake the guy. Ah. Okay. <laughs> uh, a nice bucket of water spit. <laughs> Excuse me. Water mixed with horse spit. I should wake him right up. What the hell? Where am I? Who are you? My name's Alfred, and it's you are uh, Mario. <laughs> it's oh, yeah. It's a me, a Mario. Those rascals! They got me drunk. How I can they get you drunk? You would have had to been drinking. And how can I help you, Alfred? What happened to you? Why are you in such a wretched state? Because of those rascals, Pantagruel and his cronies. They are worse than locusts. They were eating up all my food supplies. I mentioned this several times. They apologized and then they invited me to drink the last toast with them. From that moment on, my memory gets blurry. Interesting. Damn. They got me drunk and then locked me up down here. Do you know what spices are used to prepare Hippocras? Hippocras? Of course I know. Hippocras is prepared using honey, cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, and nutmeg. Thanks a lot, man. You're welcome. 
All right. It's been great. See you now. And now let him pass out MPs. Gargantuan. No, Pentagruel. That's who it is. It's Pentagruel. Get over here. I'm ready to answer your question about the Hippocrats. Oh, good. So tell me, what spices are used to prepare Hippocrats? Honey, cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, and nutmeg. Very good. You've earned one of my recipes. I just have to figure out which one is the most suitable. Tell me about the lady you're cooking for. What kind of woman is she? She's a queen, and she's adored as a goddess. She is wise, and she knows and understands everything. Ah, uh, the eyes of the lovers. They always behold their <laughs> beloved woman as if they were queens and goddesses. This one Very is a little then. more so. I say that we need something special. Unusual flavors coming directly from the new continent. Give him recipe number 32. <laughs> of course. Here it is. He's got, he's got him numbered. Tomatoes, cheese, eggs, flour, olive oil, and breadcrumbs. Instructions: slice of tomato, slice of the cheese, place slice of cheese between two slices of tomato. Flour the elements and dip them in beaten egg, then roll them in breadcrumbs. Finally, fry in olive oil. You know, if I was going to make this myself at home, I'd like to know what kind of cheese that is. I'm tempted to try and make it. Who knows, maybe I'll make it a YouTube video. I'll try actually cooking this. Tomatoes, cheese, and eggs. Flour, olive oil, and breadcrumbs. It's cheese and tomatoes. Basically, it's bread and cheese and tomatoes. Flour the L. Okay, so you slice the tomatoes, slice up the cheese. Place a slice of cheese between two slices of tomatoes. So it's like a sandwich almost. Flour the elements, dip them in beaten egg, and then roll them in breadcrumbs. Is it covered completely or is it just on the edges? I'm sorry, I'm actually trying to see if maybe I can make this. I need to find the ingredients. I'll probably need Merlin's advice again. Oh, you. Fine! I'll just go ask Merlin's advice. It actually doesn't sound too bad. It seems pretty healthy. Olive oil isn't that bad. Uh, you got cheese. You don't have any, like, fats or anything in there, I guess. Oh, no. That disgusting black substance is jumping to other books. It avoided... It's caused by oblivion. I must stop him before it's too late. It's, uh, skipped pentagroll. All right, well, let's, uh, oh wait, Merlin. I gotta go talk to Merlin. Gandal Dorlin. Zwink! All right. Welcome back, Alfred. How can I help you? Pantagruel gave me the recipe, but I need your help to get all the ingredients. I'd be more than happy to help you, Alfred. Please, ask me. Where can I find some tomatoes? Tomatoes come from America, so if you haven't yet, then I suggest you read the book Popol Vuh. It's one of the masterpieces of Mayan literature. Go huh. to the city of Quiche. I'm sure Quiche. you'll find some Quiche tomatoes there. Where can I get some flour? In the kitchens of the Royal Palace of Uruk, they're out of flour. The best idea would be to ask someone who produces flour. The mill? The mill over in uh, Pantagruel's area. The recipe says to slice some ingredients. What object should I use for that? A pack? knife. A sharp object, dear Alfred. I'm sure you'll find one soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <but laughs> I was kind of curious. I'm like, how to slice? Why would I ask that? He's not going to ask that at all. Nope, he asked it. How do you slice tomatoes? Pantagruel's recipe says to grate some ingredients. What object should I use for that purpose? 
Well, of course, Be great the bread. greater Alfred. I'm sure you'll find one. Oh, I'm glad. I'm Have glad no I will find now. all this stuff. Waste no time, Oblivion. Okay, uh... Papa Moo, is it? Something like that? Papa Moo! Papa Voo. There it is. Let's go get some tomatoes. I bet all that stuff is, uh, in... Let me see, what do I got in my inventory right now? Can't do the Swiss Army knife. Anyway, um... I have the eggs, I know, and I have bread. So basically I just need tomatoes, flour, and the tools. My, uh... I'm gonna save. Okay, I'm gonna say for the record that as a uh, adventure gamer, this is about as adventure game setting as you can possibly get. It's all like jungle and stuff like that. This is like, when I was thinking of adventure games, this is kind of always what I come up with. This probably has something to do with Space Quest, with uh, Space Quest 2 having a jungle. Space Quest 3, I guess. I guess that didn't really did it. But then you have Monkey Island, and then you have, uh, <laughs> like, there's a jungle in almost all the best adventure game series, at least somewhere. Some places, more than one. Flight of the Amazon Queen. I gotta try that sometime, although I am curious. I think there's like a... I, I am kind of curious making sure that I don't play anything that's like... You may be not family friendly. Not that the last game was totally family friendly, but... But... Actually, the last two games, they had a couple moments in, uh... In the, uh, journey down that weren't family friendly. But, uh... I think that one might have what might can be considered nudity. I'm not sure. It's very pixelated, it's so who knows? It's too heavy. I could never move it. Well, why do you want to move it, dude? Better not. I don't know the way. I might get lost in the jungle. Well, alrighty then. Let's walk over here. A weird sculpture. It represents some kind of monster. Welcome to South America. Actually, you know what, when he said tomatoes, the first thing I thought was I was going to have to go check somebody over in the other area in Gargantua. Okay. I can see something that looks like an ancient Mayan city. It must be Quiche, the city that Merlin told me about. Okay, that's interesting. What do I have in my inventory in the other two worlds? Also, as a note, this is actually really good right now where I'm at. The world, this having this as a world, because it's again, it's taking something, a tale, it's adding something very different from the other two tales. So we've got a Middle Eastern sort of, uh, uh, yeah, I want to say Middle Eastern tale. Then we have a uh, sort of a Dark Ages tale. We have Merlin, which is, I guess you could say, a little more fantasy. And now we have a. Uh, Aztec Mayan jungle thing. Oh! I can mess with the eyeball. Yes, go ahead and poke it in the eye. What was that? Uh oh. Hey! Jaguar. Hey, dude! Help me, please! <laughs> help you? But how? I don't know. If I knew, why would I ask for help? <laughs> Throw something at it here. And the O2 hey, pitch! Do you want to play with the ball? Wow. I hope this works. Incredible! It's playing with a ball of stone! Wow. 
that's not going. Hey, kitty, do you want to play with the ball? It's incredible! It's chasing after the ball of stone! Run! Beast! Don't get it angry again. <laughs> I know! It's running the other way. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it. Right before my eyes, the mighty immortal third twin of the legend! Third what? The mighty immortal third twin! Don't you know the legend? Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Incredible! You! You who are chosen by the gods and you don't even know the legend? Let me tell you the legend. <laughs> you see that city? That city is Kishé, the capital of the Kishé kingdom, ruled by the Kishé. legendary nine twins Hunapu and Shibalanke. Hunapu and Shibalanke are immortal, and just like oh, their father dude. and their uncle, Hun Hunapu and Hunapu Vukub, they are champions of the sacred Pelota game. It is written that, during a Pelota match, the father and uncle of the twins insulted the lords of Shibalba, the realm of the afterlife, and for this affront, they paid with their very lives. So Hunapu and Shibalanke descended into the underworld to seek revenge, and they challenged the lords of Shibalba to a Pelota match. The twins were unbeatable in the whole game, and they won. <laughs> This annoyed the Lords of the Afterlife greatly, and so they defeated the twins. <laughs> this guy talks Unapu fast! Okay, incredibly, were resurrected! Yes! They discovered that they were immortal, and thus defeated the oh Lords of the Alba. Once back in the world of the living, they founded the town of Kishé, which they still govern. Good for them! Very interesting, but I don't see what all this has to do with me. It has everything to do with you! He loves his... The twins, Hunapu and Shibalanke, this guy is so excited! This man would be equal to the twins in his greatness, and would be worthy to sit upon the third throne, alongside the thrones of the twins! Uh -oh. According to the legend, this man, after emerging from the darkness of the jungle, and before reaching the city, would have played the game of Pelota with a jaguar! Well, I think you're wrong. I'm not that man. I'm not wrong, dude! I saw you playing ball with a jaguar! I saw it with my own eyes! May the god of corn burn me if it's not true! Oh, that's gonna go great. The third twin! I still can't believe it! What's your name? My name's Alfred. Divine Alfred, my name is Iktan. Remember me when you're sitting beside the twins. Yeah, okay, I'll try not sure. to sacrifice you to the you sun god this minister. time. <laughs> I'll make you... My legs are trembling. Why do they tremble so? Is it because you're in the presence of the divine oh, God! <laughs> no, they tremble because I'm still in shock from that whole jaguar thing. I, I thought I was going to die. I have to sit down. My legs are giving out. Oh, dude. I need something strong. Something to calm my nerves. How about a glass of water? Nope. I need something strong. Wine! Fortunately, I finished my kuka leaves. Chewing them makes me feel calmer. Wine! <laughs> I need to get the poor guy drunk! Actually... Nope. Okay, I was just checking. I'll be right back! Something stronger, eh? I really like the mechanic be able to being able to bring stuff between worlds. That's pretty cool. I think I mentioned that in the earlier episode, but I'll say it again. It's a great mechanic. It adds a little twist onto the uh, onto very, what I can only describe as a very, very standard. I don't want to say standard. Very. Uh, it is a standard. It's a very standard adventure game formula. You know, the world idea is good. Everything. Basically, everything's very good. It's straightforward, and the storyline is good, and it offers a lot of uh, a lot of breathing room with what you do with your uh, game. But you always got to throw in a little something to add a twist, and I think being able to take stuff between worlds that's a that is a suitably excellent twist. Oh, I should have checked with the flower guy, the the mill, while I was there. I don't know, he seems like kind of a crab. I'll I'll wait on that and if it comes Ooh, I'm yawning again. If it comes down to it, I'll uh I'll go and deal with it. But maybe I'll find it over here in the Maya lands. The Mayans, did they have flour? I thought they did. <laughs> Take a drink of this. It will help you to recover. Not all of it! Oh, exceptional. I feel better already. This drink is wondrous. Thank you, Divine Alfred. How can I repay you? Take me to the city! You could lead me to the city. It's my pleasure. 
I was going there before the Jaguar came out of the jungle. You're lucky, dude. Today is a good day to visit the city of Kishé. Why? Because today, they celebrate the great feast in honor of the Divine Twins. <laughs> and the highlight of the celebrations <laughs> is the Holy Pelota match, which will end, as it does every year, with the sacrifice of the captain of one of the teams. A human sacrifice? Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's a wonderful moment. I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I'd never put myself in the shoes of a losing team's captain. Hey, dude. Why don't you join the game? The legend says that you're a great Pelota player, just like the Divine Twins. No, thanks. I don't want to end up sacrificed to the god of corn. Why even worry? You're immortal! I'd prefer to avoid that whole mess, thank you very much. Oh, such a shame. Well, let's go. Butt cheeks! This is the city of Quiche, Divine Alfred. I hope you have a good time here. Thank you, Iktan. It was my pleasure to guide you here. For now, I'm off to the playing field. A Pelota match is too good to miss. I beg you, dude, come and watch the game. It would be a shame for you to miss it. See you there. <laughs> he reminds me of a... Okay, so he reminds me of me back when I was a kid and I'd get really excited. I can't stand the sight of blood. You know, being able to see the... You know, you see a show you like. Like, I was into Star Trek, and when I saw an episode I really liked, or I saw a movie or something, oh my goodness, I was talking so fast, and I wanted to tell everybody about it, and it was really awesome how Data went and did this, that, and the other thing, and nobody had any clue what I was saying, or even what I was talking about, but boy, was I all excited about it. <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, a crater. steal it. The owner would see me. I'd better ask to borrow it. Oh, well, fine. Let's do that. Let's be polite. What are you doing? I'm grating potatoes, can't you see? Yes, I see, but why? I'll give you one guess. Why would someone grate potatoes? Um, um, to cook a dish with grated potatoes? Oh, clever you! Oh my yeah, god, it's a... Uh... It kind of a stupid question. Oh. It's Ingrid, right? Ingr Ingrid from uh, Game of Thrones. I love that accent so much. I noticed you have two graters. Could you lend me one? No, I never lend my stuff out. Whenever I do so, they are never returned. Can I give you something in its place? Ah, you want to trade me something for it? That could work, but it depends on what you have to offer. God, I love that accent! <laughs> Would you give me your grater if I gave you a perfectly spherical stone? No. I don't know how that could be useful. The entrance of a modest home. I can't just walk into... Oh. Two baskets filled with potatoes and green peppers. Oh, yummy. Two baskets filled with green peppers and potatoes. A basket full of ears of corn. I wonder if these people have invented popcorn. Just gotta throw it on top of a fire, right? I'd like to buy tomatoes. Tomatoes? I'm sorry, I don't have any. Could you tell me where I might find some? I don't really know. And honestly, I don't recommend trying to find any tomatoes. You'd be wasting your time. Tomatoes are now virtually impossible to find. Oh no. Impossible to find? What the? It's because of Moyo, the new high priest of the Sun God. He oh had boy. all the tomatoes in the city seized and taken to the temple. Oh boy. Why on earth did he do I that? like how you have the nice little blood smear no going idea. down the side of the temple. Maybe he has to offer them to the sun god. Or maybe he needs them for the rituals. He I can't tell season you his more. victims. I'm just a simple seller of vegetables. Tell me about the immortal twins. Oh, I'm actually out of time, the but I'll, let, I'll go through the conversation here Shabu first. Lange rule our city. It is said that they built Quiche hundreds of years ago. They claim to be the offspring of the Sun <laughs> God himself. Even though they were born of a mortal man, Hun Hunafu, they boast of being the greatest players of the sacred ball game, as well as being immortal. But no one has ever really questioned this. It is also said that Hunafu and Shabalanke descended into the underworld to avenge their father, and that they challenged the Dark Lords of the Afterlife to a Pelota match. Of course they said that they won, and were beheaded, but that they came back to life. I note a hint of sarcasm in your words. <laughs> For heaven's sake, I would never dare mock our divine rulers. 
Have you ever heard the legend of the immortal third twin? Of course I have. The legend says that one day an immortal man, just like the twins Hunafu and Jabalanke, would come from the depths of the jungle. This man would be equal to the twins in his greatness and would be worthy to sit upon the third throne alongside the thrones of the twins. According to the legend, this man, after emerging from the darkness of the jungle and before reaching the city, would have played the game of Pelota with a jaguar. What if I told you that maybe the third twin has finally come to Kish? Oh, it wouldn't be the first time. Someone often comes along claiming to be the third twin. All the so-called third twins are sacrificed to check if they are telling the truth. And of course, none of them have ever resurrected. What? So, who is that so-called third twin? Not Just me! Kidding. Forget it. <laughs> Alright. Great chatting with you. Bye. Bye-bye. Alright. Well, I think that's it. Thanks, everybody, for dropping by. I think that's 30. Right? Anyway, yes. Thanks, everybody, for dropping by. I really appreciate it. I, uh... I'm loving this new area. I don't know, something about the Native American, the, like, architecture and stuff like that, especially, like, Mayan and things like that. It's so cool. I love it. But, uh, thank you again for dropping by. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Comment below if you have an opinion or just want to say howdy. I always appreciate that. Uh, and check out the Facebook page. I try to put up messages up there every once in a while if uh, I'm not able to post stuff. So if you don't see me posting anything for a while, check the Facebook page. You never know. But uh, thanks again, and as always, I hope you all have a great rest of your day.